Hey guys, this is Andrew from MobileBurn.com taking a look at the LG Optimus G. Uh, the phone is pretty much the first quad core smartphone that you're going to see on the market. Uh, no idea when we're get the release date other than fourth quarter in the US. It's launching in Korea now. Have you seen? You've seen the specs already, but as far as the device goes, you can get a closer look at it. You've got a back port for, or excuse me, the bottom port for charging and MHL as well. On the left, you've got volume up and down. On the right, you've got your power button. The back has a 13 megapixel camera. They've done a lot to the camera technology. You can read up more about that. Uh, basically, they've designed it to improve the stability, improve the shutter options. The, the back has a that glossy plastic feel as well as the sides do. Your, your fingers feel, feel pretty comfortable and smooth, but it's not the most premium feature. The top, you've got your headphone jack. Uh, it's got a 4.7 inch screen, uh, 1280 by 760 resolution. Uh, the screen looks good. It has it's very bright, a lot of colors. Uh, it's running Android 4.0 at the moment. It has LG's custom UX. Uh, there's no word if or when uh, it'll get Android 4.1, but they've done a lot of cool software uh, enhancements and changes to improve options like uh, the quick memo as well as some little uh, dual screen options. So we're going to take a look at that now. The volume keys. Okay. Are you recording? Yeah. Okay. Volume keys, or you can do the drop down menu and hit quick memo here. Once that's done, you can click your pen tools. You have thin pen, a little bit thicker, marker, or even a highlighter. So you can write transparently. You got your eraser, you can clear all and erase manually. But what's cool about this is that, yeah, you can save this and take different highlights, notes, and stuff, but if somebody, if you're with somebody and they say, oh, take down my number real quick, all right, what's your number? What's that number you were telling me about? And they say it real quick, you can order it's a voicemail, you can just write down, hold on, you can choose a different pen so you can see it. And I need to check Facebook real quick. Rather than stopping the video, I can simply bring it to the background. Write down the number, hit the Q slide feature. Now I can manipulate the screen. Okay, so if someone gives you the running. number while you're on the call, you can do stuff like that. And then I can go to my dial pad and even dial the number out. Okay. And make my call. That's part of the evolution of Quick Memo that I spoke about earlier. And then uh, you can save the Quick Memo if you go back and write more if you need to. Okay? Clear all. Very easy. Now with video, I can play a video. And as you already saw, because of the quad-core processor, and let me back up a little bit, I'm able to zoom in during video. And you can see you really don't even lose that much in resolution when you zoom in. Okay. Looks really good. It's very smooth. This is because of the quad-core processor. You're able to do this. Now, the Q slide, there's that button again. Click it here. And now, as you can see, I'm on my home screen. Video's still playing transparently at the top of my screen. And I can manage the capacity level of that video while it's still running. So I can go to you know, IMDb and look up details of the video on IMDb, which the web browser, the, because there's so many people on Wi-Fi right yeah. now, it's just acting really slow. But theoretically, I'd be on Wi-Fi right now or, or, or my um, network access, and I'd be able to look up IMDb, look up the movie, yeah, see? And I'd be able to do all that, even put it in landscape, and as you can see, I'd be able to. I'd be able to go through the video, the, the web page, and look at whatever I want, and then go back, and still have that information in the background, as you can see, very lightly. And that's again giving you the power to really, truly multitask, even while watching a movie. Okay. So that's our next evolution, one of our other evolutions of. And you can see here the video's still running. We went back to the video player, and I can go back in the zoom. All because of the. Amazing software in our UX and the quad-core processor. Okay. I mean, this is truly, you've heard the term smart super phone tossed around, but if any of them fits the bill, it's definitely this one. Okay. 